James Licavoli and John Calandra emerged from the rear door of the federal courthouse where TV5 photographer Rich Geyser was stationed. And I saw these guys coming out and uh, they saw me too so they wanted to go out the other way. Well I saw that they were doing that and I packed up and I ran around to meet them on the other side. This is the first of a series of photographs taken by AP stringer Mary Beth Jowright who was also positioned at the rear of the courthouse. One of the guys uh, took his cane at that point and swung back and just wrapped me with it, wrapped my recorder. Geyser continued to follow the pair out to Public Square. It was here that Calandra wheeled on plain dealer photographer Diane McNeese. He grabbed the camera in the bag and he started bringing it around my neck and uh, I just held on and kept shooting and it kept making him madder but he realized I wasn't going to let go. Licavoli and Calandra continued to walk to their car followed by Geyser. I followed them from behind for a while and they saw that I was following from behind and they turned around yelled some more obscenities and came after me and uh, started destroying some of my equipment. Geyser and the other two photographers were not hurt in the incident. No word yet on whether anyone will press charges. Licavoli and Calandra returned to court for sentencing July 30th. Marty Gould, TV5 Eyewitness News. James Licavoli and John Calandra left the federal courthouse an hour after they were convicted on racketeering charges. Judge William Thomas allowed the two reputed mafia leaders to continue the bond set for them at the beginning of their trial. The other four men convicted today, including reputed mobster Anthony Libator, are already serving prison terms. The Justice Department based its case on the testimony of several convicted felons who plea bargained in exchange for inside information on the Cleveland Rackets operation. Licavoli's attorney, James Willis, says the government's case was based on lies and deals. They made more deals, as I told the jury in final argument in this case, than Monty Hall makes on his weekly program. Uh, uh, let's make a deal. Willis says he will win on appeal. He has described his client, Licavoli, as just a poor old man on welfare. Yet Licavoli was able to come up with $40,000 in cash for his bond. Justice Department Strike Force Attorney John Sopko was delighted with the verdict. We're very happy. It was a long trial. Uh, the green matter is finally closed with the convictions of these six individuals. Sentencing for all six men will take place on July 30th. The judge is waiting for probation department reports on the four men who are already in jail. In Cleveland, Marty Gould, TV5 Eyewitness News.